What's up guys? Coming up here with the TNA Hardcore Justice 2011 review. And what do I have to say about this pay-per-view? I'm gonna say it right here. I don't know if it, I don't even really think this was even good as Destination X, really. Let's start it off right here. Triple threat for the X Division title. Austin Aries, Brian Kendrick, and Alex Shelley. The match was happening. I thought it was a good match if you asked me for an X for the X Division. It was happening out there, but uh, Kendrick won with a sliced bread on Austin Aries, land on Shelly's stomach to get the win. I think it was a good match. Um, also at the match, um, other stuff that happened. Oh yeah, he is was an add on a bonus really here. Rosita and Sarita versus well, me, yeah, Rosita and Sarita versus Tara and Miss Miss Tessmacher. What do I have to say about this match? Hmm. Let's just say I kind of saw a lot of a lot of botches out there, if you ask me, especially the beginning of that match. I'm not saying all these tag matches are bad. With all the knockouts in that match are bad. It was all right, but Tara hit the Widow's Peak, hit it on Sarita, picking up the win still. Tag. Oh, uh, it he, he was a stupid one right here. Uh, Pope versus Devon. Bound for Glory Series match. The match was going. Pope, he said, I didn't want to do Oh, I'll go do the same thing I did. We just got to lay down. Devon went against him. The match was going. Because Pope only had like 10 points. I guess he needs some more. So Morgan, he was on commentary. I guess all he does now is since of his torn right pectoral muscle. And, well, since the tournament was going, Pope won the match with a roll up. Beat Devon. Uh, he tried to shake Devon's hand, did anyway, because. I guess he didn't want to embarrass him in front of his kids. RVD versus Crimson and with Jerry Lynn out there, which I think this is a little bit kind of stupid. He was backstage and, and then just Jerry Lynn just interrupts RVD. And the match went on tonight and RVD, I thought he was doing good out there. Crimson hit the red sky until... Which was incredibly retarded. Jerry Lynn just gets it. Why do we have to keep this battle up? I thought that was only a destination X. Is Jerry Lynn trying to prove he can beat RVD? Because you screwed RVD. And I feel like this sucks. Because RVD just lost 10 points. For coming to second place. Nearly in what? I believe 6 to 7 place. And now 25 points. Who's at 35 points at first. Uh, winner. When he hits Mickey James. Um, match is going. Um, yeah, Angeline Love got involved in the match, and the match is going out there. To Angeline got got involved, did the backbreaker bitch in the, on Mickey James. Didn't work the first time. Mickey James still doing out good out there. Hit that tornado DDT off the turnbuckle until Angeline came back in, tried to do another backbreaker, but Mickey James dodged and knocked her out. And the match was going until the ending of the match. Until the ending, I thought, was a little bit stupid. Winters sprayed some, spit some red mist into Mickey James' eye, and she became a new knockout champion. I'm like, what, what the heck just happened right there? What, what just happened? What did I just see? What, what just happened right there? I, I don't know what I just saw. I, I, is this, this reminds me back, a little back of Victory Roll with the Matt Morgan Hernandez match. With the with the red blood or I don't know if I don't know is Winter trying to beat Jerry? Is she? I, I don't know about the finish of that match, but Winter became the, the the knockout champion. The EMTs had to come help Mickey James. I I just don't understand that right there. It was kinda crazy. Um yeah, went backstage uh, with uh oh yeah, the excellent Kendrick. Oh I won the match in and Kendrick, uh, he say he Kendrick was happy to retain the belt. Aries comes and says, "I'm tired of this girl scar ways and stuff, man. So I need to take a shower because I ain't coming. You need to beat me one on one." I thought Austin Aries looked a little bit stupid right there. Uh, moving on uh, with the other matches. But I, I I already talked about the um that oh yeah the um oh here's the one uh Mr. Anderson versus. Bully Ray, the match right there, I thought. <laughs> well, before I get to that match, I'm sorry, right there. Let me just go in order of how I saw this pay-per-view and everything. 
six man tag Gunner, well, Immortal of Gunner Scott Steiner in Abyss versus Daniels, Kazarian, and AJ Styles. Now, this match I thought was great. Somewhat kind of great. Even though everyone everyone was a little bit all over the place, I didn't know the table was there for at first. And. Because the match is going, a lot of tags happen. Steiner, everybody keeps thinking Steiner was on steroids, chanting that. I heard that chant a lot of times out there. Uh, the match was going until they got a table. Everyone was kind of going crazy everywhere then. Because Daniels kind of saved AJ Styles from going through the table and stuff. And so Gunner and Daniels went through the table because AJ was trying to go for a move. And the thing I didn't get was this. AJ won with a moonsault Pele on a bit. And like, I'm not saying it was a bad way to win. I, I, I was like, crap, was that a Pele? A moonsault Pele then? So if this is a moonsault Pele, I guess it was kind of different then out there. It's one of the Pele on a bit. And Abyss was in trouble again. And Bischoff was mad. And Immortal was mad. So I guess he was back in the doghouse again for Abyss. For, for Immortal losing, really. Because it was, it was just kind of crazy right there. How he lost. So, yeah. Fortune won the match. It was alright. It was alright. Uh, other stuff. Mr. Anderson versus Bully Ray. The match happened. Uh, I guess, uh, well, let me just go right here and talk about the match. Because, right here. Bully Ray came out. He hid behind... The kind of Titan Tron and Anderson. He came out here doing the Mr. Anderson, and he he said he's right behind me, isn't he? Turns around, hits and hits Bully Ray with the mic. It was a big. I thought it was a good match. If you ask me, a little bit, a lot of bare knuckle brawling out there. Uh, real big, um, especially when um Anderson out there taking down Bully Ray a lot because Bully Ray seems to talk a lot when he. In the ring and stuff. The match is going. Um, Bully, uh, Anderson hit that Ken Time Bomb. He was going for another one. But Bully Ray got in the ring and said, Screw you. And, and I thought Anderson was going to win. He was going to go back and get him. But uh, he went to pick up Bully Ray's chain then. And the ref told him to drop. Anderson didn't want to drop the chain. And uh, Anderson kind of came from. and Well, Bully Ray came back because. Anderson had the chain, and the ref, I guess the ref tried to stop Anderson, and then Bully Ray came back, did a low blow, rolled him up, and Bully Ray was the winner, which was kind of stupid and stuff. Because I had my money on Anderson for this match, but I already thought Anderson was going to win. Mexican America, Anarchia, and Hernandez, well, with Serena and Rosita, when he gets beer money for the tag team titles. And I thought it was a good tag team match, really. Real good match. I thought it was real good. Great. I didn't. I didn't knew Mexico and America wasn't really gonna win anyway. But they really gonna. They weren't gonna win. But Beer Money won. Chant it. Uh, beer Money. The USA chant. James Storm hit that last call. Super super kick on Anarchy. And won the match. One two three. Uh, I thought it was real big right there for Beer Money. Kurt Angle versus Sting. World title line or the Joker if you want to call him. I thought the match was good. It was a lot of German suplexes by Kurt Angle, and they kept kind of using their finishers of the Scorpion, Death, Deathlock, and the Ankle Lock. And I thought it was a real good match. And then, because I, I did everything Kurt Angle could do in Seguri, that thing, like, I was say they all talking about Anderson. I didn't get a chance to blame him doing in Seguri on uh, Bully Ray, kind of like a like a roundhouse kind of in Seguri. Uh, the thing was going, he hit the Inseguri on the referee, and once again, it was Jackson James, I think it was, so he's an idiot. The match was going, and both, all the, all the guys out. Ref was out, Sting was out, and Kurt was out, and Hulk Hogan came to the ring with a steel chair. He was gonna hit Sting, but Angle took the chair from Hogan, and Hogan got up out of there, and Angle hit the chair, he used the chair to hit uh, Sting with it hit the angle slam on him. I guess Kurt Angle couldn't really win with a clean finish then. 
He couldn't win with a clean finish. So what, what, what is this now? Everyone that's going to fight Sting now for the World Heavyweight title is going to betray and join Immortals. Or Hogan or Bischoff is going to do something about this. This company, I tell you, this company. You come off a great pay-per-view coming into this one. I gotta say it was a bad pay-per-view. I'm, I'm not sure. It's my thoughts on this. Uh, this pay. -per I'll just say this. It wasn't as big as the X, the uh, Destination X, the Angle versus Sting match with the with two new cr champions crowned tonight. So I don't know. I guess Kurt Angle just joined Immortal. If you, what do you think of this review? Comment, subscribe. I may put the reactions on there of what I have, but I don't know if they're really going to be even worth it for this, um, after, after doing this review, because I'm not sure if you guys like this TNA review, or comment, subscribe, or this pay-per-view in general. The point is, I'm going to give this pay-per-view a 6. Yeah, let's just say a 6. So whatever you think of the pay-per-view, that's your choice. But me, it's still mixed reviews a little on this. Maybe it was horrible. Maybe it was good. I just saw a lot of bad, some bad matches tonight. Kurt Angle become the champion. I'm not saying that's bad, but once again, Hulk Hogan gets involved in Sting. Everyone that likes to betray Sting, the Joker, the Joker, if you want to call him. I don't know if TNA's going to go in the right direction. But does wrestling matter really in TNA? Does it? Does it matter? You need a question of that. Watch out for SummerSlam next Sunday. Maybe the live reactions will be better on that in the review. Because I did that for Money in the Bank. and Yeah, but I'm just getting off this TNA. I'm not saying it's the best pay-per-view. I kind of missed a little bit some of the Kendrick and... You had a triple threat for the X Division title, but it was an alright pay-per-view, if you ask me, I guess. I'm not sure. I'm still thinking on it. I just made this review, and no kind of lingering, so it's Master Video 90. Sign out. If I put the live reactions up, I'll put them. If I don't, I don't. May not even be worth it anyway, probably. So, yeah, I'll see you guys later.